checking out 13533 Tech Brave Bots coming out of Gladstone, Michigan. And I'm here uh, down the road. We'll just kind of go through. We got Cameron, Michael, and Max. We're talking more about this cool robot. You got to check out this drivetrain here. It's cool to see this in FRC or in FTC, by the way, uh, here on Behind the Bot. So let's talk about that right away. Uh, this drivetrain. Uh, you guys said you didn't quite have a name for it, but I know we've uh, named an FRC before, so I want you to talk about why did you go this route with the Omni wheels angle at 45 degrees and how has it been working out for you? Um, so if we did this drivetrain, it would allow us for easy mobility, so we can um, we can move it around, like spin it either way, and then we can move it all like this so we can move Sideways and frontward and forward. Yeah, so you, um, so when you look at this, so like, how did you determine this type of drive? Like, this is what we want to go with, because you don't really see this in FTC very often. No, it's just it's a unique style of drivetrain, and it's different. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, definitely working out well for you guys here so far. Let's move on to Mr. Football Pads here uh, and talk about uh, the intake uh, mechanism you have. Uh, I think it's quite interesting because we'll talk about the elevator and the counterweights and stuff too, but tell me about this intake. What was the inspiration behind it? Well, so we could pick up the blocks and so we could stack them up higher and so we could get more points. And um, we had some struggles because the bo the servos couldn't pick it up quite because it was the block was too heavy. So we added counterweights and we kept like trying to change out to get different like styles and see what worked best. And this is this is where we are right now. And that's works the best right here. And that's a big part about first is iteration, right? Getting always never being content, always trying new things for it. What made you want to go with the complete Compliant wheels in front there. It's more grippy and like more steady, and like it's, you can pick hold them up easier, and you can like drive really easy with them. And wrapping up here, let's uh, check in with the uh, elevator. I know you guys haven't used the elevator too much here, but obviously you want to keep getting better, and better, and making those tall stacks. So can you tell me a little bit about the elevator and your robot? Okay, so we had some FRC de designs for inf inspiration, and they looked um. We, at first we started to build a smaller version of those, but it was it had very much parts and was very complex. So we found these uh, retractable metal pieces that, th so they already have the elevator form to them. So we just screwed in some crossbars and a motor and rope and it worked pretty good. Yeah, I love hearing that you're looking at uh, different teams across first and looking for inspiration on that. I think that's really cool. As you look at some of the other competitors that you had here, is there any other type of design that really sticks out to you that you think is very effective? Well, I uh, I saw the one design where it had the, the frontal grippers like that, and it looked nose heavy, but it looked effective. Very cool. Well, an absolutely cool team. I love the unique design of this. Uh, so can't wait. Uh, Gladstone Tech here once again with Behind the Bot here in Kingsford. Good luck the rest of the competition season and, of course, here at the Yeti Cup event. Good luck, guys. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.